just wanted to go at how to create a plot of base station readings. Okay, so if I'm going to import my data, I go data, import ASCII. I'm not going to import it into the current database. So let me look for which, no, sorry, this is what I'm going to call my database. So I know, I try to keep my database names the same as the file names that I am bringing in. Um, you might have to look back to figure out what those are. So I'm bringing in the C file here. So if you keep them the same, it's just so much easier later on. Okay, I'm saving it, I'm clicking OK. And now I'll navigate to the file. And this is a template, so I've actually been importing a few of these, so it's created a template, but if you want to create your own, you click on Create Template. And you can see I'm scrolling down here, I'm looking where my header rows end and my data starts on line 7, so I'm going to start to import on 7, sometimes this can be 1 or 2 off. Clicking Next, it's picking up my different columns at Whitespace Delimited, so I'm going to click Next. And then uh, for the headers, so it's taking this line here, or it should be, now it's picking up something else as the, the channel names. So my first channel here is time, so I'm going to call it time, and I wanted to know the format here is a time format. So if I go down here to time, mine is this last one, none of them are separated by semicolons, my hours, minutes and seconds are all together, so I click on that format. Next column here, I'm just going to call it base underscore station, you can't put spaces. Um, I'm also going to copy that and put it under label because that will affect what is plotted on my, um, my plot of my base station and I actually don't care too much about the SQ but if you want you can just call it that for um, finality. Click finished, click OK and it should import it here and you can see it's recognized this time format. Okay, so I'm just going to click on base station here, go edit, and I want to put units, are going to be nano tesla, that'll show up on my plot, and I want to take away the decimal places, I'm going to set it to zero, and click OK. And so you see what happens now is if I right click and go show profile, it shows my base station profile down here, but let's put this time column as the x-axis, so when you click on the screen, Oh, sorry, click on where the plot area is, click on x-axis options, choose time, click OK, and now time is displayed at the bottom. You can see I've got a few spikes at the beginning here, probably when people were close to the base station setting up. So just scroll through until your values become relatively constant. You can see that's where they become constant. Right click on the other ones, go right click, delete marked rows, and it deletes those columns. Sorry, those rows. And now I'm going to plot it up. So what I do is I right click on the plot area and I go plot profile figure. Click OK. I'm not going to fill in any of those faces. And you can see it plots it up quite nicely for you. There's that base station title we put in there, the units. Uh, you can see here it's got file as this x-axis. We'll go change it now. And there it's plotted your values. And the main thing is you want to see there's not a change of over 40 nanoteslas. And there isn't. It's about 12. Let's just go fix that x-axis option, click no, don't save. I'm going here, oh sorry, it was for the time. I'm clicking on time, right click edit. I forgot to change this thing here. So this is, first one is the name of this column. Next one is the label that will go on the plot. So I'm keeping them both the same. Click OK, right click, plot, OK. Overwrite it, yes. And that looks pretty good. And that time was from 10 to about it was 12. And so I'm going to export that and go map export. I like PNG, um, JPEG. I don't know. Find sometimes the formatting changes. Dots per inch. The main thing for dots per inch. I always used to put 150. A friend told me that. Sometimes for images they can be very big. You just need to look down here what your estimated size would be. So I think mine's always on 80 because. A lot of the color images can get quite big, so 80 is good, but you can see this image is going to be small. Um, right now, I'm just keeping the default here clicked on Viewed Region, so what we're seeing on the screen is going to export, and I click OK. Ask me where I want to save it. Save it, obviously, in a place you want to find it, and also save it, sorry, here. Um, again, I use the name that I have from the original um, database file and the one that I used on my database in Excel, um, in GeoSoft, click OK, and it's exported.